Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be watching, of course, some more Legend of Korra. We're on episode 5 of book 3, and the episode is called The Metal Clan. Sounds interesting. Some metal benders, I take it? We have definitely seen some in this series already. Let's see what's going to happen today. Thank you guys for watching and enjoy. I think she wants you to throw it for her. I'll oh, pass, thanks. <laughs> Little bit slobbery. Where are they? A city called Zaofu, the home of the Metal Clan. You know the place? Uh, never been. But if there's an airbender in Zaofu, then that's where we're going next. Hmm. <laughs> Pretty please. <gasps> oh. Oh, poor Naga. <laughs> I feel like she has been there. Whoa, is this it? Beautiful. Wow, wow, wow. You should be right at home, Bay Fong. Hmm. Don't think she likes this place. <laughs> Maybe this is where she's from. Aren't you coming? What's there to see? It's metal. Big whoop. And don't tell anyone I'm here. Does she have another ex-boyfriend here or something? <laughs> My name is Ai Wei. Thanks for having us. Is this everyone? Yep. Just us. Oh, this place is cool. And this is Daw. He's a new airbender too, like you guys. It's so nice to meet you. Aw, uh, Daw is here. My name is Yoru. I heard this was a place to come if you're a new airbender. Mom! I'm Kaya! We got another one! <laughs> but why are they framing him in such an uneasy... Can we trust him? Wow, this place is neat. That statue honors the first metal bender. <gasps> Toph Bay. Toph! Does Toph live here? Are we gonna get to meet her? I'm afraid not. Years ago, she left to wander the world. No one has seen her since. Oh. Whoa. Is, is she still alive? She was the youngest of them all. I mean, granted, not by much, but... Is this where the airbender lives? Yes, but first, her mother wants to meet you. The airbender's a girl? The matriarch of the metal clan, Su Yin. Please call me Su. Why did you lie when Ai Wei asked if there was anyone else with you? Huh? I didn't. I mean... <laughs> when people lie, their heart rate and breathing increase. Oh, just like... Just like Tov! We came with Republic City's chief of police. She didn't want anyone to know she was here. Lynn's here. I would love to say hello. Wait, you two know each other? Are they sisters? I'm Lynn's sister. So this airbender is Lynn's niece? Why didn't you ever tell me you had a sister? Half sister. And after 30 years, the least no. you could do is say hello. I have nothing to say to you. You two haven't spoken in 30 years? How Damn. Far? You're the one who tore our family apart. And you've done a bang-up job keeping it that way. Lynn, your niece is the new airbender. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, terrific. <laughs> Lynn, come on. They're playing a game called Power Disc. They invented it all on their own. <laughs> oh, nice power way. I'm so proud of those two. <laughs> I'm just, I'm happy. I don't know, this is so cool. Huon, I want you to meet the Avatar and her friends. It's like our family's growing. Hey. Wow, Who's emo that's guy really over nice here? Banana? <sighs> it's not a banana. It represents the dawning of a new age. Obviously. <laughs> I, well, let me stand here. Yes, I can see that now. Yes. Thank you. Banana. I mean, that's a banana, right? <laughs> and this is my daughter, Opal. Wow, Avatar Korra. Lynn has such a big family. She's just been alienated from them. I'm Bo Lynn. Opal, but uh, you already knew that. Is your Aunt Lynn? Really? My mom has told me so many stories about you. I'm sure she has. <laughs> That's what I was afraid of. <laughs> I was hoping she could train with the rest of the airbenders at the Northern Temple. That sounds amazing. Nonsense. You can train her here. Now I'll see you all at dinner and come hungry. Why do you have such a problem with your sister? She seems nice. <laughs> Lynn is gonna go feral on everyone. 
You want to keep your elbows in, torso straight, feet just skimming the ground. Why don't you try it with me? I thought that a city, like a metal city, would feel very kind of cold and like the opposite of what I'm seeing. It's 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 beautiful. Wow, you're a natural. There's like so much water, nature, plants. It's so green. You call yourself an airbender? Disgraceful. Oh, Milo. <laughs> Milo the general. Oh, this guy's gonna be the natural. Oh, whoa. Now that man's a leaf. <laughs> I just got a message from Tenzin. He's with a whole group of other airbenders at the Northern Temple, and he wants all of you to join them. And the Avatar is with them? No, apparently she had to split off from Tenzin. That's unfortunate. <gasps> I was really looking forward to meeting her. He's with the Zaheer. He's gotta be with. Z is he one of the ones that is. He doesn't look familiar. Unless he cut his hair off. Sorry, dear. I'm going to have to take dinner in my office. That was my brilliant architect of a husband, Batar, and our oldest son. How many children does she Five have? Five kids. What a <laughs> Oh, okay, yeah. Children are a blessing. Yeah, mom used to say that too, but she never meant it. I don't think I've ever had a bad meal in my life. Oh, I had plenty. When I mean, you'd be surprised how bad food from a dumpster can be. I don't think it's surprising. It's okay. That's all in the past. Things are great now. I got to be a pro bender, fought against a dangerous revolution, became a mover star, and now <laughs> I'm helping the Avatar rebuild a whole nation. Wow, your life sounds so exciting. Join Team Avatar and your life will be very exciting. You want to talk about what's really bugging you, because I'm right here. Sorry we're late, everyone. Uh, geez. <gasps> ah! <Zach! laughs> what are you doing here? Great question, Asami. <laughs> yeah. I mean, what are any of us doing here? Varric's heading up my new technology division. He's got like kind of Lando Calrissian vibes. I'm trying to keep the Avatar safe and you're harboring a criminal? He's up, Lynn. People change. You haven't. Jeez. Lynn! What is what happened between them? You and Opal seem to hit it off at dinner. Too bad she's not my type. Right. I forgot. Your type is dumb mover star or psycho ice princess. <laughs> But maybe you're right, bro. Maybe Opal is bowling material. Thanks. But what about what about your lovely ice princess? <laughs> Can I ask what happened with you two? Please. We didn't have a normal childhood. Because mom grew up in such a strict house, she gave us all the freedom in the world. Oh. Maybe a little bit too loose on the parenting. But we both ended up fighting for mom's attention. Mom wasn't too happy with how either of us turned out. When I was 16, I left home to explore the world. I finally realized what I was looking for was a family. So I bought this plot of land and created a place I could truly call home. She built this place? Wow. What a, what a feat. I mean, I know she didn't build it, but she... This was her... Hey, project. little lady. You're really blowing me away with your airbending. Oh, now that he's trying, she's not going to like him. <laughs> Why are you acting weird? Look, I'm sorry. I just get really self-conscious when I know a girl likes me and... Who said I liked you? Oh, no. But I thought... Just kidding. <laughs> but do me a favor and stop trying. Yeah, please. Just be yourself. Huh. Yeah, I guess I could give that a shot. Oh. <clears throat> <laughs> I need your help with something. Well, Lynn almost really messed that up. <laughs> she seems understanding, though. Now, this guy is definitely no good. What are you doing? No one's allowed in Daddy's study except Daddy. Wait a minute. I couldn't sleep. If he's an airbender... You seem to know a lot about airbender history for someone who just got airbending. Where did you say you were from? A small village up north. Wait, Zahir. I was just thinking this, is that him? He looks so different without all his hair and stuff. He looks younger. <laughs> I was just thinking, is that Zahir? I need some help. Uh. Ooh, let's go, Kaya. She's got some awesome moves. 
Yeah, he looks so different without his like mustache and stuff. Oh. Sorry, I won't be joining you at the Northern Air Temple. I have other plans. Dang. He kind of reminds me of <laughs> when he fights of Aang. He has like the the staff with the kite thing. I brought someone who wants to talk to you. You want to talk? Then talk. When you showed up, I was so excited to get to know you. I guess I was kind of sad that you didn't want to get to know me. I know my family can be a little crazy, but I would love it so much if you would be a part of it. Come on, she didn't do anything wrong. You never met her before. Lynn. Get out. Oh, she's so precious. She's like a delicate, beautiful little flower. Why don't you focus on fixing the world and stop trying to fix my family? You're always going to be a bitter, lonely woman. <laughs> Why did it end there? <laughs> oh. oh, man. Whew. That was... This is tough, man. I don't, I still don't understand exactly what's going on in Lynn's mind right now. Cause so from what Sue was saying, they were kind of rivals, I guess, with trying to get Toph's attention. So Sue left when she was 16 and then just never came back. So is Lynn mad that because like she still views her as like a, a rival maybe she felt like sue was the favorite and so she's resented her for that or is it because she left and without like a word or, or something like that i don't know but like she is like really really mad so mad that she doesn't even want to have anything to do with her niece who is completely innocent in this you know and oh my gosh, Opal is, she just seems really sweet, but really delicate, like really fragile, really sensitive. I think I'm really going to like her character. She's going to be like a romantic interest for Bolin, at least for a while. We know these, these things don't last very long in this series. <laughs> these little budding romances between all the characters, but um, we'll see how that goes. I am kind of beating myself up that it, it wasn't until like, right before the reveal that I was like, is that Zaheer? Because I was like, wait, he's an airbender. He seems kind of fishy. He's, you know, looking for Korra. And at first I was thinking maybe it was the other guy, but then no, the other guy's an earthbender. But yeah, he shaved off all his hair. He looks a lot younger. I think that's what really threw me off. Because Zaheer, with his, like, gray hair, he seems really old. But maybe the gray isn't, like, because he's old or... Or maybe he just, I don't know. He just looks a lot younger here. So I was like, it, I wasn't thinking it was the same person until the very end. And then they were like, Zaheer. And I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> they said it before I could say it. But um, the Metal City, I absolutely love them. It's beautiful. Oh, my gosh. It's so, as opposed to Republic City, which is kind of like, can be a little like grimy at times. This feels really clean and sleek. I thought that it would feel like cold and impersonal and when I was thinking of like a metal town, a metal city, kind of very stoic and not alive, but this place feels so alive because they have all the trees and all the bushes, all the green, they have the beautiful waterways and the architecture is so elegant and it, it's like flowing. It's like a budding flower. Oh, and I was waiting and wondering when Varric was going to show up again. And I kind of um, have been so into what's been going on in this season that I, I haven't really been thinking about him. I kind of forgot about him. And then he showed up like right at the right time when I really like kind of forgot that he existed. He showed up and I was like, oh, Varric. That was a lot of fun. So i um, looking forward to that. This was a really intense episode really emotionally charged with like all this conflict between Lynn and her family and I am really dying to see where this is gonna go with her. I did ask for more Lynn at the end of the second season and uh, 
we're getting some more. So hopefully that continues. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Hope you enjoyed. See you in the comments as well. And bye-bye.